So what is going on guys? It is Coop1104 Gaming here. And today in this today's video I'm gonna be ranking every single Black Ops 3 Easter egg. So this is from Shadows, Derizon, Zetsubo, Gorod, and Revelations. I've decided to leave out the giant because you know it's not really Easter egg. I mean there's a quest, like you have to go shoot the thing, but it only gives you the annihilator as a reward. And it does give you a gateworm. I'm pr I believe it does give you a gateworm in the Revelations. So it could technically be counted as an Easter egg, but I'm not going to count on this one just because it's not that long of a quest. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting it off at our number 5 spot, or the worst Easter egg in Black Ops 3, this has got to be Zetsumo Noshima. And honestly, if you didn't see this coming, I don't know what. It's just, this map ha has an Easter egg where you have to find the cogs to repair the elevator. And once you do that, you go down and fight Takio in this big freaking like tree monster from like Shrek or something. I don't know. But, I mean, the boss fight is pretty fun, but the Easter egg itself, it just takes too long, especially where the part where you have to water the plants. So, basically, this map, if you want to get set up, like, upgraded weapon and everything, upgraded weapon, build a wonder weapon, open all the doors, you might as well just do the Easter egg, honestly, because there's just so much stuff that you need to build on Zetsubo, and you need to build everything for the Easter egg. I mean, I'm talking about the shield, you need to complete all your challenges, that's a bad part of it. Completing all your challenges sucks. You need to build a shield, do all your challenges. Then you have to build the KT4, which can take multiple rounds, depending on if you get lucky with the uh, drops from the plants. And then, you, and then after that, you have to build the upgraded KT4, which takes even longer because you have to wait another three rounds to water plants under wa under water plants underwater. What does that mean? How can you water plants underwater? They obviously were not thinking when they decided to make this Easter egg. And then you have to shoot the plate. So get the three cogs. The first thing you have to do is have to get the electric shield. The only way you can do that is from completing all your challenges, which can take pretty long depending on how what challenges you get. So the way someone does it is that one person is on one side, and they have to melee the, the box, the electrical shield, to make the person on the zip line fall down onto a small ledge to grab the cog. If you miss, you can die and lose all your guns and all your perks and everything. So that's already a flaw. Now the second one, to get the second cog, you have to shoot down a plane using a missile or whatever, an AA gun, where the bullet can only be found from getting a plant after three rounds of watering, and you might not even get that from watering it. And then the third cog, I'm not too familiar with this one, but this Easter egg does have some strong points. I mean, with a big spider boss fight, that was a definitely a highlight of the easter egg that's probably the best part in my opinion but overall this easter egg i don't know it just does not it does not fit into black ops 3 if you feel like if you feel me because it was solved in less than 12 hours it was solved in like 12 hours i think fantastical gamer got it first in the world with his team which is honestly just ridiculous 12 hours i haven't even i hadn't even played the map and the easter egg was already solved that just goes to show how much of a Crappy map and a crappy Easter egg that Zetsubo is. Coming in at our next spot is going to be the Revelations Easter egg. So, this Easter egg took the longest to find, I think, out of any Easter egg in zombies, like, ever. It took around, it took them, I'm not sure, it was either, it was 8 or 12 days, but that is a ridiculously long time for an Easter egg. And part of that was because of how many random little things they have scattered throughout the map. Like, the bone step probably took them the longest because you just had to find these little obscure rocks that you had to shoot throughout the map. Like, what were Treyarch thinking, honestly, when they decided to make this Easter egg? Same with Zetsubo. But this Easter egg, I don't know. I mean, it's more fun than Zetsubo, that's for sure, because you get to kill the Shadow Man again. And the boss fight arena is beautiful. I mean, the first boss fight after you do the symbols, that was amazing. That was probably the highlight of it. The, this detention that is when you're like trying to evade around these walls and these big lightning storms that are coming around I, I really like that part of the easter egg but then there's another part of me that just feels like it took too long with the eggs first we had to find our eggs and then if you can't find your egg it takes long and then after you, if you can't find your egg then you have to look for the rune that you get from looking around the egg and then if you can't find that then you just have to keep looking for minutes, which happened to us with someone in our game. It really, it's unfortunate, but, I mean, it happens. 
it's just another reason that Revelations is too RNG based with the Easter egg. I mean, the rock that can be anywhere in the thing. But once you get past the real step, I think, from the Keeper, then the Margawa, and then the, I don't know, the last one, the Bones. From there on out, the Easter egg is pretty fun. I mean, going around the map with a summoning key, that was that was a good part of the Easter egg. But, I don't know, this Easter egg, I don't know, it just doesn't really cut it for me. I mean, there was a lot of hype around it, like the last map, but then nobody really liked the Easter egg. And so, I don't know, it just feels like when I completed, I was like, I wasn't like, let's go, let's go, we're done. I was just like, oh, finally, because it took me so long to go beat this Easter egg. Because I've never known how to what to do. The same with the YouTubers. I heard them say that um, Milo, Mr. Raffle Waffle, said that when they completed it, he said that he wasn't even happy because they should have completed it so long before. But there were so many glitches and bugs that happened where people could, could, kept getting death barriers when they went into that boss fight. They just didn't. It just wasn't a fan favorite Easter egg, and it's not honestly not my favorite either. So that's Revelations. So coming out of three, coming out of number three spot, or in the middle of the road, is going to be Gorod Krovi. So this is a fantastic map. Honestly, one of the better maps in Black Ops Three, compared to Revelations and Setsubo. But I don't know. It's just kind of middle of the road for me. I mean, it takes a long time. First, you have to get the Dragon Strike command. Then you have to get all six trophies throughout the map. Then you have to get the Gauntlet, which God forbid. I hate that gauntlet. Get it. Well, I like using the gauntlet, but it just takes too long to get, in my opinion. And then, once you get that, then you have to do all six challenges, which are difficult, to say the least. Especially the bomb step. The bomb step screwed me, my friends and I over so many times. It's just... And then, but... At least it was rewarding when I completed the bomb step with my friends. But we ended up not beating the Easter egg. But I ended up having to do this Easter egg solo, and the only way I did do it was 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 with near death, shot trash. But it took me nine attempts, which is just saying something about how difficult this Easter egg is. It's probably the most difficult Easter egg to complete in Black Ops Three. I'm not gonna lie, because of the bomb step, the escort steps, and just how the map is laid out. I mean, it's so tight. It's like tight corners and closed off, and you have so many different types of boss zombies that can kill you. I really do like the map, but the Easter egg was good as well. The boss fight, in my opinion, the boss fight was probably the best boss fight in Black Ops 3. Just because of the wide open area and the two halves of it where you get to blow up a dragon. I mean, how cool is that? And then you fight Nikolai 1.0 in a mech suit. But one of the complaints I have about the Easter egg, it's a little nitpicky thing, is that when you fight Nikolai, he has, he has a mech suit, right? But that mech suit also is an appearance of the Black Ops 3 campaign. So they just re recycled a mech suit from the campaign. And, and he shoots rats, which are also in multiplayer. So, I mean, they could have been a little more creative. And, like, he could have shot out some, like, I don't know, things that are related to zombies. But they had to use something from campaign. Which, I mean, I'm not really complaining about it that much. But it just takes away from it a little bit. And then the ending where it says to be concluded and then revelations. That was, that was crazy when I first watched that. I think JC Backfire, Johnny J25, and a couple other people got first in the world, which was just ridiculous. I don't know how people find the Easter egg so fast, but props to them for doing that. And uh, yeah, Gord Crofey comes in at a number three spot. All right, hear me out now. I know this is going to be a surprise to a lot of you, but the number two best Easter egg in Black Ops 3, this is going to be Durizendrak. And honestly, Dorizen Rock probably has the better Easter egg in general than our number one spot. But the number one spot, I think you all know what it is. But I'm not going to say it yet, quite yet. The number one spot for me is just more memorable, memorable than Dorizen Rock. I mean, this was the first Easter egg I ever completed in all of Zombies. And I was, we, never did it, we never did it with squads. We'd always die. And then the first time I ever tried to solo, I beat it. And that was probably one of the greatest things ever in my, in my experiences on Zombies. But the thing the thing is is that for me it just takes too short of a time. I mean it just flies by once you have depth when like once you have Dempsey called home, the Easter egg it's pretty much over because all you have to do from that from there is fill the souls and do the boss fight. And the boss fight don't get me wrong is great. I mean I love fighting the keeper. That was 
it's difficult because of the schools that can come up behind you. And that's another reason why I don't like the boss fight a little bit. No, that's a problem I have. I don't. I wouldn't say I don't like it. I would just say that I have a couple of problems with it. And one of the problems is that the schools, the schools can like down you, and like you can you have nothing to do about it. There's, I just don't know. That that's down me a lot in it. And then another thing is that if you run out of ammo, and like you're screwed in the boss fight. Even if you have near death, you're screwed. In a clip that I have in the video right now, I ended up running on, running out of ammo on both my guns. So I had to knife zombies until my Ragnarok recharged, going down 18 times in the process. Which is just, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Because there's no max ammo if you go down. I mean, there's no max ammo if you run out of ammo for a while. And then another thing I have with it is that the abundance of panzers. Oh my god, there are so many panzers. Throughout the whole boss fight, you probably kill around 15 panzers, which is... Honestly, it's just kind of ridiculous. I mean, they don't need to kill, we don't need to kill 15 Panzers to be able to complete a boss fight. That's just... I don't know why they add, decided to add that in. I think maybe just to speed up the Ragnaroks quicker. That's to charge the Ragnaroks quick, quicker. Which is probably why they did it. And then, the last complaint I have with the boss fight is that... Actually, I don't have any more complaints. <sighs> and then, the Easter egg itself is just... The Rising Rock is the best map in Black Ops 3, don't get me wrong. But there's just one map that has a better Easter egg in my opinion. And I know don't hate me don't hate on me for dissing the Rising Rock and saying that it's not the best Easter egg, but I don't know. The Rising Rock for me it just doesn't compare to the epicness of the next map. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the number one spot, we've all been waiting for this. This has got to be, in from my opinion, Shadows of Evil. Oh my god. When I complete this, when I play this map and when I do this Easter egg, to this day, I get chills from everything, every aspect of the map, the music, the scenery, the way the zombies act. It's just this is uh, my second favorite map in Black Ops Three after Derived Rock. It's a close second because this is the map that started it all for me. This was I first, I Black Ops Three is the first game I bought and Shadows is the first. I I mean I've played zombies at like friends' houses like. But this is the first map I really, like, played. Like, I tried and I knew everything. And then this map is just honestly so good in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people don't like it because of the setup and how tedious it is. But in my opinion, it just gives you more things to do. Because when I play zombies, I get bored too quick if I just hop in and I'm just shooting zombies for 30 rounds. I want I want to do something. I want to get the sword or get a weapon or, like, have buildables to go get. And then Shadows of Evil, and they, that's what I like about the map. But the Easter egg it is wonderful. I mean, everything about it is like feels so climactic, from getting your swords to upgrading the swords. Upgrading the swords is probably one of my favorite steps, even though it can take four rounds. And then the flag step, the flag step is difficult, but that's what I like about it. It provides a challenge where everybody on your team has to be communicating properly. Everybody has to be like alert. Like, for the Shadow Man, for Meatballs, I could be destroying it. I mean, Gobble Gums do help, like, Fear and Headlights for that, and Idolize for the, quote, boss fight. I guess you can call it a boss fight, but I don't know. The, and then my last topic about the Shadows of Evil Easter egg has to be the music. The music, oh my god, is honestly has the best music of any Easter egg in Zombies. From the room when you kill the Shadow Man, when you get locked in there and you start killing him, the music is just so epic, and it just sounds so, I don't know, it just gives me chills every time, like, it sounds like a choir, like, singing, they're singing in Latin and stuff, it just feels like you're getting revenge on everything the Shadow Man has done to you, and that's why I like this Easter egg, so, thank you guys so much for watching, and I know this is my opinion, so, this is my opinion, so don't hate on me, uh, trying to make more videos this week, oh God, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, see ya. One was to actually do it, two was to help Connor, no, two was to, why did we do it? Did we do it for fun? No, it was to help Ryan with it. Two was for...